Hey everyone, today I have another component of the storage system I'm working on. This one's an item type to binary decoder. So what it does is it takes a single item and translates it into a 10-bit binary code. 10 bits because there are currently about 500 items in the game, and 10 bits is enough for 1k, so it should be good for a few major versions. Unless Mojang breaks the redstone. So, what it, how it works is you place your item inside this chest, and then a few moments later, you get your code. So for instance, redstone would be 13 in this machine. Now this can do the decoding in about three to four seconds. And then there's a small delay while you wait for the mine cards, maybe 10 seconds for it to come back. Then your item is in place in this chest and then you can already do another item. So for instance, redstone lamps should be 34. And there we go. Um, so it's pretty fast for a, an item type to a binary decoder. It also contains a lot of items. So right now I've only encoded redstone and glowstone, but this setup can encode 600 item types and it's also infinitely expandable. So in just about, this is 60 blocks long, you can do 600 item types. It's quite dense. Uh, now you can also reset it, you placing you, this button over here. Um, now before the, before I talk about how you can encode items and how this works, I want to talk about predecessors to this design because this is not the first time people have tried to make item decoders. Uh, Ultimate Redstone did one almost two and a half years ago, but his was way slower. So his approach was using sorters underneath the piston bolt instead of chests above it. So um, the way he did it is he had two sorters per block and piston bolts travel at 40 meters a second. So his could decode 40 item types per second. Uh, now that was good for the time, but uh, unfortunately this is kind of not really good right now because with 600 item types, you'd need this to be about 300 blocks long using his design, and it would take about 15 seconds to, not including the signal travel time, to decode just one item. Um, so something had to be done, and luckily someone uh, called 0x53something, he has a really complicated name, there will be a link in the description, made a really, really nice item decoder about two months ago. So his idea was to do a two-dimensional sorting. So what he, he does is he has a minecart line going underneath these chests, and then it curves and goes underneath these ones. And you can detect when an item gets taken from the chests. And now the way you map them both together is say, there's an item that gets taken from this row, and also from say, this column, then you light both the row and the column, and at their intersection, that's where you have your item. Um, now he used this for a storage, so the row and column would map to a single chest. Uh, but it's kind of hard to do this uh, using a, a uh, if for to decode it to binary, because then you'd need some kind of a binary decoder in a square in the middle, and it's kind of bulky. So um, I actually tried to improve his design. So his di his design is two dimensional. It has two basically rows and columns. You can view a an item type to binary decoder as essentially a ten dimensional sort uh, sort error. So here I have 10 bits. Each corresponds to essentially a dimension, if you want. Um, for instance, here is the first bit. It's these six rails over here. And it corresponds to these six chests. So what happens is if an item gets taken from these six chests, then the first bit is going to light up. So for instance, redstone is 13, and that has the first bit on on, which means if I place in redstone, this redstone will be gone. This observer will light up and the first bit will light. And here we have six chests, each can hold about 50 items, so 300 items in total. And only half the items have their first bit on one, the other have it on zero. So 300 times two is 600, and so we are good enough for 600 items. Now, the second bit works in the exact same way. So if an item has its second bit on one, for instance, red soul lamps, then uh, this the second bit will light the observers over here, and then the second bit will turn on. If an item doesn't have its second bit on one, then for instance redstone, then it just won't be in one of these chests. And so on and so forth for the 10 bits. Now obviously this is infinitely expandable, so for instance if you wanted 700 items, then you would need instead of uh, 6 chests, you would need uh, 7 chests per bit. And if you want to go above 1k, then you'd need uh, 11 bits instead of 10, all of them having uh, 
I don't know, maybe 10 or 11 chests per bit. So it, it gets larger pretty fast, but for the current amount of items in Minecraft, it's really, really fast. It's probably the fastest design you can make. Um, now, uh, there's actually an interesting thing about this. So uh, this should be taken as a lesson that com time complexity doesn't always mean any everything. So if I look at um, Ultimate Redstone design, then his design had a linear or ON complexity. Because as long as you made it, then you could just add items. Each item, each 40 blocks would add 80 items and so on and so forth. Now, this design over here has a O square root of N complexity, which means it's quite a lot faster than Ultimate Redstone's linear complexity. But this design actually has a worse complexity than both of them. The only reason it's faster is because of the constants that are hidden away by the big O complexity, uh, by the big O notation. So I have a homework for you guys. Um, what's the complexity of this? Uh, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.